So many films, so little time. With so much to watch, why do you want to spend your time watching a couple more episodes of a show that lost your attention two seasons ago? Instead, why don't you watch a great film, something that will enrich your life and give you memories that will stay with you for years? Here's a couple of choices that I picked in honor of the cold weather. <laughs> In 1921, Swedish director Viktor Schrodström, I'm sure I butchered that name, forgive me, made the film The Phantom Carriage. It is a tale like a Christmas carol. Three drunk men tell the story of how death picks the new carriage driver to be death for the upcoming year as the last person to have died before the clock chimes the new year. And as a man dies, and start seeing where his life is becoming. He has the chance to look back over his life, and the end of the film is one of the most heart-wrenching, beautiful things I've ever seen in a film. And the fact that the film is that powerful while not having any spoken dialogue is phenomenal. It sounds old-fashioned, but check it out, The Phantom Carriage. You would love it. 1999's horror western comedy Ravenous is a film I absolutely have to recommend. If you haven't seen it, it stars Guy Pearce as a man who is banished by the U.S. military to a frozen fort in the Sierra Nevadas. And when an evil cannibalistic monster appears, it just gets wonderful. But it's funny, it is shocking, and some interesting things behind the scenes. It was directed by a lady who was herself a vegetarian, and it's got some real teeth on it. It's a great film, especially in this cold weather. Check it out. 2003's Bad Santa is a film that has gathered a bit of a cult reputation, and I absolutely love it. I've watched it every year at Christmas, and I absolutely do recommend it. Fun thing about it is, that is the third film by a fantastic American art director, Terry Zwigoff. The guy's got a brutal sense of humor, but he's a brilliant filmmaker. And the film, despite being tremendously crude and having awful language in it, is at heart a proper Christmas film that ends on a proper Christmas way, and that is why I absolutely recommend it. To make such a raunchy film, but, but to have it have heart. That was why I love it. If anyone here has never seen the 1971 Robert Altman film, McCabe and Mrs. Miller, do yourself a favor and check it out. Robert Redford and Julie Christie fill out the cast. The film is a Western told in the most cold, cold environment you'd ever see in a film. It is beautiful. It's heartbreaking. It has a Leonard Cohen soundtrack that will just make you weep. And if you want something in the cold, can't imagine anything better. <laughs> the last film I would like to recommend is 1992's A Muppet Christmas Carol. There are so many different versions of The Christmas Carol. Almost everyone has their own favorite. This one has got to be mine, mainly because the Muppets are as strong as whatever straight man they have. And Michael Caine shouting at all of these felt sock puppets while never once grinning. He is the perfect straight man to them. And... Kermit the Frog as Bob Cratchit is just absolutely charming. <laughs> I don't have anything else to say on that. It's just so wonderful. Thank you for watching. These are a few wonderful movies that are great to enjoy in this cold, cold weather. I hope you have a warm winter. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Michael Bruner of Brogan Video.